Hey guys, here's my new project. It is a high pressure copper coaxial pellet gun and the caliber is 22. So my primary ammo will be either 22 round balls or 22 air gun pellets, whichever one performs better after I test it. So uh, right now I just got it to start firing accurately or reliably I should say. So here's a little demonstration. I'll try it at 200 PSI with my bike pump. About eight pumps. And the fire. So it's actually fairly loud outside in the open but I don't plan on putting a silencer on it because I don't want to mess up the accuracy with a homemade silencer so here you can see the pilot valve is a trimmed blowgun just the nozzle I cut off to make it look a little better and I oiled it up a little to make it easier to pull the fill valve over there is a Schrader valve and everything is quarter inch and then I just take off that whole back assembly to access the piston which I will show a picture of right now I bent the stock out of quarter inch copper pipe it started as about a 70 inch long piece that I straightened out and then started bending the stock into shape using an actual pellet gun for reference so it fits the hand pretty nicely and it's easy to pull the trigger the stock is temporarily attached with the stock is temporarily attached with this hose clamp with rubber and soon I'll add another one a little bit further back make it a little bit more secure I also have a scope coming in the mail. It is a compact 4x20 scope, so it's not a huge scope, but um, it should do the job for the relatively close range that I'll be shooting at with this gun. And that'll be mounted with probably some metal sheet or plastic sheet that I'll form into a Picatinny rail. I also made this laser mount out of some heat molded PVC pipe. So I just put it in the oven and wrapped it around a little form and carved a little bit out. So you can see the mounting bolts will go through those two holes. The laser will sit right about here. And the copper chamber will go right through here. And the bolts will clamp down and hold it in place. And then I just turn it on. I decided to have the option of the laser sight because I've used the scope that I ordered before and it's just really bad at night, you can't see anything at all. So if I sight in this laser I can shoot accurately at night time as well as the daytime. That's about it for this project for now. Once my BBs arrive in the mail I will do some test shots and hopefully my scope will come soon so I can figure out how accurate it's going to shoot, but uh, until then, that's all I got. See you next time.